Okay, in this video, we're going to talk briefly about Unity, what it is, and how to get it set up on your machine. Now, if again, if you've already got Unity installed on your computer and you're comfortable with getting all that done on your own, you can easily skip this video. But I do want to mention that I will be assuming a little bit of experience in whatever OS you happen to be following along with. So I'll show you where you can download Unity and how to get uh, the basics set up and where you can find the assets we'll be using, and that'll be about it. So first off, what is Unity? Well, Unity is a framework, an engine, and an editor that you can use to build your own games. It's a program at its fundamental level that allows you to build a game in it. You can start with building a level, game level, mm -hmm. arranging all your assets so it looks like a game world, whether it be a 2D game, 3D platform, or full MMO, you can use Unity to achieve it. Beyond that, it's an API that you can use to program the script in either JavaScript or C Sharp or Boo. And you can write your own scripts to add functionality to these levels that you're building inside of it. Once you've built all the functionality and your levels, you can then export this as a game whether you build it as a standalone game for Windows, for the Mac, you can export it to run as an iPhone app, you mm -hmm. can run it as an Android app. There are now versions that allow you to build out for the Xbox 360, the PS3, and the Wii. Those do involve licensing, though. Yes, and they also, I think in the case of the 360, require a contract with Microsoft to develop as well, which can get prohibitively expensive for a, a lone developer. Right. It depends on how far you want to push things. Now, you didn't even mention that you can also build out for the web so that you can play your games in a web player right on a website, which right. is fantastic. Now, again, so that, that kind of sums everything up. It's a multi-platform game development tool. It has an editor that is very much like a 3D application, and if you have any experience whatsoever with a 3D app such as Maya or 3DS Max or XSI or really any of them, then you're going to feel right at home with Unity. Now, if you have no such experience with a 3D application, don't worry. Unity is actually very easy to use, and we're going to walk you through everything you really need to know in order to start using it right away. However, the first thing you're going to need to know is where to get it. So here I am over at the Unity webpage, unity3d.com, and you don't even have to look very far. But I, I will point this out. Uh, if you want, you can just click right on the download link, and this will take you to the download page. So you just choose which operating system you, you're going to download for. Now, it's automatically going to detect where you're looking. So uh, we'll go ahead and just click on Download Unity now. Now, I'm not going to do this on my end. My computer already has Unity Pro running. There's no point in me downloading it one more time. I just want to point out that on your end, this is the button you're going to click. Right. You're going to download it. Once the download finishes, you run the installer. It'll step you through the process. Yep, it's a basic installer like you've probably used a hundred times on your computer. The one difference with this one is the very first time you go to run it, it's going to ask you to activate your license. Mm -hmm. Now, Unity has been kind enough to offer up a 30-day trial of the Pro version. So you can activate it, use all the features of Unity for 30 days past that 30 days, it will revert down to the standard free version. That's right. Now, if we jump over to the Unity Store, which I'm just going to click on and give that a moment to load in, you can take a look at a comparison of the features of Unity and Unity Pro. So if you're curious as to what you get or what you lose, here's a really nice comparison sheet just to let you know. Right. And throughout the set of videos, when we start working with anything that ties into the pro only version we do our best to point that out and explain what's a pro version what's not and possible workarounds if you don't have the pro version that's right now that's right so while we're working if we say something is pro yeah you're only going to be use it uh, if you are within your trial period or if you've bought the pro license though i will give you a quick heads up we're not going to be showing you anything that's necessarily a deal breaker if you don't have pro yeah, they're just kind of nice little touches here and there. Niceities. Uh, your interface will look different. It will be a bright gray instead of a dark gray, and we'll talk about that and uh, and how that changes things a little bit, but that's not a major deal. You'll lose some light mapping features. You'll lose the pro water. Uh, there's all kinds of little things all over the place, and one of the bigger ones is the uh, deferred lighting rendering path, which is, uh, that's kind of Unity's latest method of uh, of displaying objects on your, on your screen. 
uh, the way to, to render objects that you will lose if you are not using Pro. But again, it's not a deal breaker. Right. You can still learn so much about the software just by following along, even with Unity Standard. Now, that's a, I just wanted to point out this page if you wanted to kind of compare uh, your basic, uh, your standard Unity versus Pro. But do keep in mind, the free version of Unity, the standard version, which, yeah, is lacking some features, is still a commercially licensable product. You can still take that without spending any money, and you can make a game that you can release and sell and make money with. So don't be afraid to do that. Uh, by all means, get started right away. And if you come up with a really killer game idea and you'd like to go ahead and release it, you're free to do that. Now, I've shown you where you can get Unity. We've talked about the fact that after you get it installed, it's going to have to get uh, authorized. Oh, right, the license needs to be activated. That's right. So make sure that you do that. Now, I do want to mention a couple of other things. If we jump into uh, the web page itself, with, there are some features that we're going to be using in these videos, such as the Terrain Toolkit and the Terrain Assets. Right. What we're going to be using is there are some packages that are available from Unity that we're free to use. Now, you're going to find those under Support, under Resources. Actually, and, go back and click that a little more slowly this okay. time. So we can go to the Support section. And under here, we have resources. So we can select on resources. Mm -hmm. This is going to open up a menu. Now, this is a good place beyond these videos to learn some things. There are some tutorials that you can download, both video and PDF form, with example projects that you can download and play with. There's a lot of uh, Unite pres presentations that they've done from their Unite conferences. Well, I just wanted to mention on those uh, example projects, it's great to be able to download a fully completed project and you can not only play it but you can open it up inside the unity editor and pick it apart and see how the problem was tackled right see how they did it and then you can replicate it now the part that we're talking about is going to be f well here let me skip this we'll come back to it. there's some more example projects these aren't uh, full-blown tutorials these are more just projects you can download and pick apart on your own mm -hmm. and we have some unity extensions we're going to come back to this in a sec as well because this is the other place we're going to go to. We've got assets. Now, there are a couple of assets that we're going to be using throughout the series. The biggest one is going to be this terrain assets package. This has some rocks, some trees, some materials and uh, textures that we're going to use. So this is going to be one of the ones that we download. So if you want to grab it now, you can go ahead and click on it, download it, put it someplace safe, and we'll show you how to load it in when it's time. But mm -hmm. this is one of the ones that we want to grab. Also inside of assets, later on we're going to be using this built-in shaders. We're not going to get in depth of what shaders are, right. but there is an example where we need to pull this file and pull one exa uh, one uh, script from here. Okay, and we'll walk you through that process too. But if you want to download it now, again you can download it, put it someplace safe until we get to it. The other one that we need is Under going Unity extensions. extensions. Yeah, this is going to be you know quite a few videos that we go over. This is the Terrain Toolkit. Now this is a nice little tool that augments the creation of Terrain, and we'll go in depth on what this thing can do. Yeah, in a nutshell, what it is is a system to allow you to create Terrain much more quickly through some automated features. Right, it's procedural Terrain generation. Right, and you can add things like procedurally based texture. You can add erosion effects and things to make your terrain look a lot more natural. But you're going to have to start by downloading this zip file, and you will decompress that into the Unity installation right. folder. And there's a lot more stuff in here. These are just the three packages that we're going to be playing with. Feel free, and I highly encourage you to go through all the different sections here mm -hmm. and see what is available and use it as a tool to further your knowledge of Unity. That's right. You can download many of these various example projects and tutorials and just play with them. I mean, it, it doesn't matter if you understand what's going on at first. What would be really cool if, you, you know, if you're totally new to Unity is get one of these example projects up and running on your machine and just look at it. And, you know, if you start to feel overwhelmed or confused, that's okay. Then come back and watch our videos to get you up to speed with Unity as a tool. And then go back to that project with your new understanding and see how much you've learned. So that... That pretty much covers everything I wanted to discuss here, which is really just how to get your hands on Unity, how to go about installing it. However, I already have Unity running here, so I won't be running through the entire process right here on screen. So once you have that up and going, you are ready to follow along. And in the next video, what we're going to do is jump right in, as opposed to just walking you through a whole bunch of you know lecture on here's the user interface and here's how to do this and here's that. We're just going to make you make something right away. Yeah. We're going to build this snow level that you see right here. 
one step at a time. We're going to hold your hand through the whole process and make sure that you understand everything that's going on. There'll be a lot of detailed explanation as we go and a lot of different topics we're going to be touching on throughout the process. Right. Once we're finished with that, we're going to get into the what I, what I call the reference section of Unity Fundamentals, where we're going to talk about individual topics. We'll discuss terminology with Unity. We'll talk about how to work with certain aspects like, uh, like game objects, like packages, like uh, prefabs and how to create those. And then we'll talk about each one of those specific areas, such as lighting, such as light mapping, uh, terrains, uh, such as... Oh, I just want to well, go our physics, uh, Yeah, particles. rigid body physics, particles, trails, so many different topics we'll be covering. But that's how this is going to work. We're going to begin just by having you create your own level straight out of the gate to get your hands dirty. Hit the ground running, so to speak. So without any further ado, let's get started and jump into the next video. Thanks for watching.